Hello and welcome to Unfathomable Crimes. I woke up this morning to some sad news that remains have been found in the search for Madeleine Kingsbury. Now, Madeleine Kingsbury went missing on the 31st of March this year and police have been searching along with community members for her for these past two, well, just over two months. On the announcement that these remains were found, Adam Freival, her ex-partner, the last person to see her, has been arrested. Bearing in mind he was just in court on Monday trying to regain custody of his two children. We did a video covering this only last week and I will link that in the description and up above. So what do we know so far? Well, here was the news breaking last night. And now to breaking news in the Madeline Kingsbury case. We've learned a deputy found human remains on a rural highway in southeastern Minnesota. Also, the father of Kingsbury's children, 29-year-old Adam Frabel, is in custody in Winona County tonight. Jay Coles joins us from the newsroom with this new information. Jay? Yeah, Kevin, jail records show Frabel was booked on suspicion of second-degree murder about three hours ago. A family spokesperson tells us they were informed by the Winona police chief and two agents with the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. Also within the last half hour, Winona police said a Fillmore County deputy found human. So this Fillmore County area, this was the area that Adam Freville said that he left at about, I think it was quarter past 10, half past 10 on the day of her disappearance and didn't return home until the quarter past one when he discovered that she was missing, having left behind her jacket, her keys, her purse, everything she would need to go walk about during this time of year with it being called out. There was no sign of where she'd gone to and nobody else had seen her. He was the last person to have seen her and that was in the home. This area where they have been searching for the past two months, this was part of his drive during that 10, well, 10.15 10, to quarter past one time frame where he wasn't at the house and when he is stating that she left and he, she wasn't there when he returned so it is like i say the information's coming from the search that has been fed in from tips and also from the community members searching the area human remains just off highway 43 north of mabel near the minnesota iowa border the body was located using information generated during the kingsbury investigation Winona PD says they are now working to positively identify the remains. Kingsbury disappeared March 31st. As we've reported, Winona police say it was 8.15 that morning that Kingsbury returned home with Fravel after dropping their two children off at daycare. No one could get a hold of her after that. There have been search parties out looking for her in Winona and surrounding counties. As of right now, no, for no formal charges have been filed against Fravel. About two weeks into the search, he issued a statement saying, in part, quote, I had nothing to do with Maddie's disappearance. He also said he cooperated with investigators and gave multiple interviews to Winona County law enforcement. Winona police are planning to hold a news conference sometime tomorrow. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News. So as you see from that report, this East State and Adam Bravely came out. It was it was quite a while after she disappeared and the family actually reported her, her disappearance, her being missing. It wasn't him. He stated that he's cooperated, but the, the, the contradictory statement from family members is that he hasn't and that hasn't even been in touch with them. The children luckily are still with their Madeline's parents. So he hasn't got custody and that was decided on Monday. Everybody is innocent until proven guilty, but in this case, I am very thankful that the authorities acted swiftly when it came to the children because we don't know what somebody's state of mind is. Even if he is innocent, his state of mind of being accused by members of the public, even being questioned by law enforcement, could he have harmed the children? So I'm glad that authorities acted swiftly there, but it is sad news and obviously the remains haven't been formally identified, but it's a sad story today and we will find out more later in the press conference. So I will keep you updated on this case and thank you for joining me. If you've got any comments about this case, please let me know below and hit the like and subscribe button to be informed of future updates. Thanks guys. See you again next time.